1 0 pitch. Ground ball to the first baseman. The second baseman can't grab it either. Ricocheted off of the first baseman by Skosel. That will be an RBI single for Jackson Clough as Danny Jelilich scores from third. It's now 3 1 Milwaukee in the bottom of the first. Noah Hill on deck. One ball, two strikes. The delivery to McNew. Ground ball to the shortstop who bobbles it. That will allow the runner from third to score. The throw to first. Not in time. DJ McNew will be at first base. That's a balk. He didn't step off. That's a balk. That's exactly what they called. They called a balk on Goodman. And that will walk in the tying run. Wow. Noah Hill scoring from third on the Bach from Elijah Goodman. And in the bottom of the second inning, all tied up at three runs apiece. Jelilich at second base and a full count. The 3-2 pitch. Ground ball past the third baseman who was diving to make the stop. And that's going to be an RBI single for Brian Sue. And the Cougars take the lead 4-3. to three. And the batter is the shortstop, Carson Matthews. Carson pops that up into left center. Get going, that get going. That ball may get down. It's going to hit the warning track. And that will score a run. McIntyre scoring from second base. BYU adding on to the lead. The an RBI triple from Carson Matthews. And it was a oh, straight got steal. From yeah. Right. Oh, my goodness. And Mitch McIntyre. No, no, Carson Matthews. Carson, Carson Matthews, Matthews scoring from third base. I love it. Str- <laughs> I gotta see this replay. I gotta see this We've replay. Gotta see this. And the one-two delivery on its way. Ground ball right up the middle. A run will score. They'll throw out Keaton at first. But BYU adding to its lead as Brian Sue scores from third. It's now 9-3 BYU. 1-1 pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. Schwecky over to first. Uh oh. The first baseman yep, drops safe. the ball. That will score Brock Hale from third base. And the Cougars add another run and lead 10 to 3 here on the bottom of the fourth inning. The 1 2 pitch is delivered from Mahoney. High and outside again, evens the count at 2 and 2. BYU leading 10 to 6. 12 hits for the Cougars. The 2 2 pitch to Brock. Outside again. And after falling behind 0-2, Brock's worked the count full. Three balls and two strikes. Yeah, really good at bat. 0-2 count. Three straight pitches he takes. Didn't swing at his pitch. Now, nowhere to put you. A walk is an RBI. So, look to get something here. And if you don't, just take your walk. No place to put Brock. The payoff pitch. Outside again. Bordner wanted that. Tried to frame it. The home plate umpire said ball four. And that'll bring in another run as Noah Hill scores from third. It is now 11 to 6, BYU. And it was a oh, straight steal from yeah. the right. Oh, my goodness. And Mitch McIntyre. No, no, Carson Matthews. Carson, Carson Matthews, Matthews scoring from third base. I love on a it. Stri- <laughs> on I got to see this replay. I got to see this We've replay. Gotta see this. Now you've got BYU's RBI leader, Jackson Clough, at the plate. And a ground ball. He's going to add to that total. One run will score, two runs will score, and that is a two-run single for Jackson Club. And the Cougars increase their lead to 13-6 to in the bottom of the fifth. 2-2 pitch. Keaton pops it up. In the shallow right center. Right fielder Cortell over to make the play. And tagging from third is Brock Hale, and he'll score. The Cougars add another run. It's now 14-6 to here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Well, the weather has arrived with a vengeance here in the top of the sixth inning. BYU with an eight-run lead at 14-6. to six. Wow. We knew there was going to be another storm coming our way, and it has started to make its presence felt here in Provo. We are in a weather delay. The update from the umpires, they're going to reevaluate in about 30 minutes. They think there's a chance that this storm may blow over in that time. We promised you a weather update from Miller Park. The game was suspended. Heading into the top of the sixth inning, BYU with an eight-run lead at 14-6. Got some good news and some bad news. If you're a BYU fan, the good news is BYU has won this game. They have called this game. It is an official game. BYU will now improve to 10-3 on the season. 
Jared Lessler will improve to 2-1 and one on the year. He will get the win. BYU will win this game 14-6. The bad news is, if you were hoping for a doubleheader, that will not happen. The second game today has been canceled. 